excess insulin is the root cause of PCOS, type 2 diabetes, hypertension. Your doctor should focus on this root cause. The PCOS example, many doctors will focus exclusively on the testosterone, right? And they'll actually give the patients prolactone and other things to try to lower their testosterone. And so literally what they're doing, the root cause is up here, the insulin, but they're trying to work down here and work on this. Yeah. And it completely ignoring the kind of the watershed cascade. Yeah. It's all being caused by hyperinsulinemia. It's not. It, and so once you fix the insulin, everything else in that cascade goes back to normal. We've heard it from thousands of women online on social media who said, yeah, as soon as I had lowered my carbohydrate intake, got my insulin levels back to normal, I got knocked up. I like to compare most chronic diseases, imagining them as branches coming off a common trunk. And if we are continuing to try to hack at these branches with various medications. For example, if someone has PCOS, there's going to be a distinct medication for that. Someone, the same person could have diabetes. That will be a distinct medication. They could have hypertension. That'll be a distinct medication. So rather than having the patient leave the office with three prescriptions, the result of which will just be a lifetime of increasing the dosage, in, instead of change the conversation and say, actually, all of these are coming off of one common trunk Let's just chop down the tree rather than hacking away at the branches. And and at, at the risk of, of seeming opportunistic, it was it was seeing seeing health and disease this way that prompted me um, to to write the book, Why We Get Sick. If anyone's interested, it is just all about insulin resistance, what it is, how you get it, why it matters, and what to do about it. I mean, I can tell you the thousands of people who have reached out to me who used to be on one, two, or three blood yep. pressure medicines every single day. And every doctor, what do they want to talk about if you have high blood pressure? They want to talk about lowering your salt intake, oh, geez. Yeah. which is just the dumbest paradigm in the world. Your high blood pressure, almost 100% of the time, if they check a C-peptide or a fasting insulin, it immediately becomes apparent that the hyperinsulinemia is the reason you have hypertension. And so if anybody's listening with high blood pressure and, and you've got access to your labs on your lab portal, Log in and see if your doctor has checked a C peptide, the letter C followed by the word peptide or a fasting insulin. If those labs haven't been checked on you, then your doctor is still ignorant of this paradigm. And I don't mean your doctor's dumb. They just haven't shifted their way of thinking yet. And, and Dr. Bickman and I are working on that right now. But when your doctor, when they finally get shift their paradigm and go, so, oh, I see the cascade now. So insulin being chronically high leads to this and that leads to this and that leads to the hypertension. And, th and that's so the fluid retention, the sodium retention, and then you have high blood pressure. It's not actually the sodium doing that. It's the insulin. Oh, once your doctor has that epiphany, your doctor's going to change how they treat hypertension for the rest of their career. So it's not only going to benefit you as their patient, it's going to benefit every one of their, pa their patients. And that's why it's so important that you share this information with everyone you know who needs it. Excess insulin is the root cause of PCOS, type 2 diabetes, hypertension. Your doctor should focus on this root cause, PCOS. The doctor will focus only on testosterone level, will prescribe medications to lower testosterone, will ignore the root cause, which is hyperinsulinemia. Once the excess insulin is addressed, the rest of the disease cascade goes back to normal. Thousands of women have told Dr. Berry, as soon as I lowered the carbs, I got insulin back to normal, I got pregnant. Dr. Bickman, compare chronic diseases to branches on a tree. If we hack at the branches with medications, for example, PCOS, diabetes, and hypertension medications, instead of the patient leaving with three medications, which will lead to a lifetime of increasing the dosage, all of these diseases are coming off a trunk, excess insulin, just top down the tree. Seeing health and disease this way, that's what prompted Dr. Bickman to write his book, Why We Get Sick, which focuses on insulin resistance, what it is, how we get it, why it matters, what to do about it.
Dr. Berry, thousands of people have reached out to me. I used to be on three blood pressure medications. Their doctor only talked about lowering salt. If the doctor checks their C-peptide or fasting insulin, it becomes clear. Your hyperinsulinemia is the reason you have hypertension. If you have high blood pressure, check your lab report for C-peptide or fasting insulin. If it's not there, your doctor is ignorant of insulin resistance as the main cause. When your doctor shifts their paradigm, they will say, oh, I see, insulin being chronically high leads to this cascade of problems that led to hypertension. It is not the sodium, it is the insulin. Your doctor will change how they treat hypertension for the rest of their career. This will benefit you and all the rest of their patients. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.